broadcasters of your area in voluntary cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. Mr. Corgan is an excellent example of somebody who can be critical of the city and still be polite. The discipline given to me of termination was grossly unfair and unreasonably, especially when looked at in retaliation of others incidents of conduct unbecoming of city employees. And there are many cases of unfair discipline, favoritism in the city. Is the commission aware that certain managers cheat the hiring process? When wanting to hire friends by calling the candidate they want to hire before the interview furnishes them with information that would help them stand out, then suggest them for hire over more qualified persons. Then the manager will sign a document saying he never spoke to the applicant before the interview process, which is a standard practice by HR. This jeopardizes the city of West Palm Beach by having lesser qualified persons in many essential and safety sensitive positions. I have the names of the manager and the employees in which this has occurred. I make no allegations that can't be substantiated should the city wish to investigate. At my last commission meeting, I spoke of an ex-con who was still working for the city and another individual who lost his license also. It's funny how they're still working here and things have almost hasn't changed. So I have been doing some investigation in the past practices of the city of West Palm Beach and I have come up with an arrest record of a certain individual who works in risk management. She was arrested on April 24, 2009 for DWI. It was a first degree DWI. Uh, the charges were she refused to submit to an alcohol breathalyzer test, which is an automatic license suspension. The second charge was driving while her first license was suspended. The third charge was the uh, registration license plate didn't match the car. The fourth charge was the car wasn't registered. Yet this individual still works here. And in risk management, no less. The favoritism going on in this city, if you don't know it, it is way out of control. You guys got to realize this. I've been starting my sixth month here in front of City Hall, and I'm not mad. There's no anger in me. I am getting the truth out. I will not stop getting the truth out to the day I die. Because what has happened to me in, in relations to what these people have done, I mean, she works in risk management. You all know her. And she's the same individual who got the jaywalking ticket. Same individual. Yet she still works here. Yet the, the, uh, the uh, DWI electrician still works here, who was chauffeured around by city employees. Yet the same ex-con who was work, is still working at the water plant was also involved in another shooting, if you haven't heard, in Green Acres. He's in Delray Medical Center. Mm, that you. investigation is still continuing. Thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Thank you for your time. Thank you. See you in two weeks. David London. So if I offended anybody, I apologize. It shouldn't happen again, but I'm not giving up.